Let's have a look at the detail on this choke. So once I'm here, I have my weight over him. I have control into the hips here, making sure I have my points. I put my hand behind his head and I can walk forward. If he tries to pull his head back here, he needs to move his head so he can move the rest of his body. So I hover over him and keep my weight over him. The goal is this. I take the t-shirt and I put my thumb deep. If I go shallow, by the time I get around, it's too loose. I can't pull it on him. So I go here and I put my thumb deep. Remember I said I can use my chest to hold this arm down. Johnny tries to scratch me. Well, either either, my weight is over him. And I put my thumb deep. Hand goes on. Make sure my bicep and shoulder stays behind him. As I cup around, walk to the back and work the choke here this is for the position when he ends up like this so here i can attack him look to finish him restrain him from this position but very common also is he explodes now this is what i try to avoid we're going to take a step back here joy here this position here, as Johnny goes to turn now, he wants to turn away, is me to try and put my hooks in and jump on his back. Not a good idea, because I'm not saying it's not a possibility, but the high percentages is not good because I put my hooks in and I don't get the job done. He stands up and now I'm on his back, throws me around. There's no rules out here, he can do whatever he wants. He can fall back on me, lots of things. There's better ways to take the back. So let's move ourselves along here, my man. So here, when I find myself in this position, I'm over him, Johnny goes to turn to his knees and he goes to push on his hands and get back up. This is the problem. You'll find yourself, and nobody does this in the gym, they answer it with a bit more, a lot more technique, but we're not talking about this, we're talking about the guy who just wants out. He's desperate, he's gonna do whatever he needs to do. So my cue is when he moves, I try not to control his back. I control his head. Because I want to control his head because his head, wherever his head goes, his body's going to follow it. So my first thing is to make sure that I get over the top of his head so I can slow him down from getting to his feet and I can look to attack him. So we're here. And as soon as Johnny goes, and I'm going to obviously take a little pressure off Johnny so I can allow him to move, otherwise he's, he's going to hurt himself. And we're showing this on a video, we want to look after each other. So I keep pressure on him, and he screws himself around to turn, and I move to the forefront, keep my weight over Johnny here. So Johnny moves around this way, here, you can see I'm over the top of him. Notice my toes are on the floor. I'm not sprawling on him like this. This gives him too much gap and I don't have the stability here. I am on my knees and my toes. My hands are on the floor. My arms do not wrap around him like this. Why? Here's two reasons why. One, Johnny could bite, my, bite me. Cool. My hands are very much close to his mouth. Two, my arms are now tied up. If he over wraps one arm and then rolls, I'm going with him. Okay, so I try not to put my hands, my arms underneath him. So he's in the same position here. Here, locked in tight. Now, sure, he can try to dive for my leg. He could do lots of different things. If he attacks my leg, and we'll grab my leg there, Johnny. Excellent. I drop my hip into him. Allows me to set up other things. Okay, so when I get to this position, I'm looking to finish him quickly and sustainably. Once I get here, I throw one arm underneath my hand and the other one comes underneath and I'm going to look for the choke to finish him off. So let's come close to the camera here. And let's have a look at the grip first and foremost of what we're using. My hand slides in. 
I go, Ian, you may make a shelf with your hand. I like to hold my hand like this. And see here, like a dead man switch. My thumb goes on top. That means it's super, super strong and very, very sharp on the knuckle. And I'll slide that down. Meaning that if the person dips his chin, it doesn't matter because I'm going to start at the back of the neck and I'm going to come all the way around the side until I hit into that artery. And you'll feel the artery because you'll go past the muscle and into that little valley before you get to the front of the neck. There's a little groove here where the artery is. I'm sliding into this. So Johnny, if you're on your, I'll go from this angle here. So I start here, bearing in mind my body's over him, but I'll take my body off so you guys can see. I go here, take the knuckle, and I slide it with the pressure of my body all the way down until I get in. This is not bad. I just find that he can, it's not a stronger structure. This, uh, my body pushed in. This is not my arm, this is through my toes, and every part of my body pushes down on Johnny to get in. Once I slide it in, I get underneath his neck, around his artery. My next hand, this is a strong frame here. My next hand comes underneath. It's very important that my hand doesn't do this, or this, or this. Crane, here, here, here. Why? Because I want to access my elbows, my head, and now I have the power. Anything other will keep my elbows out, which will make it weak. And remember, I don't want to give this guy any inches, otherwise he's going to, he's going to give me a fight, he's out. Okay, so same position. Johnny's here. I slide, slide in, keep my weight in, and I come through with this one, boom, and I've attached how we had before. I keep my head down low. Now, the beautiful thing of this choke here is now that he has minimal, if, if none at all, and the timing would be the very start of it for him to move, he cannot get out. If he goes left or right, my elbows are in. If he goes forwards, he's gonna put the choke on. And if he goes backwards, I'm already under his chin. If you lift up your head there, Johnny, I'm already under his chin with his head dipped down. He's leaning on my hand here. Okay, and now here's the detail. This is where maybe I uh, could go wrong. If Johnny's on all fours, I get to this position. I go for the choke and I start pulling up. I pull so much up. Johnny pulls up with his head and boom, he takes me down. I'm taking me down in any way, but the way here, where way I'm sitting, He's gonna take my knees out, okay? He's gonna take my chin out with his head or he's just up and he gives me the fight again. So the way to deploy this choke, and Johnny's on all fours, is I go here, this position, I put my body weight down through my toes, through my legs, all through my body and into my head. All of this is going down. The only part that goes up are my arms, Easy choke. So without Johnny there, I'm locked. Body goes down, arms go up. Not arms go up. All body goes down and the arms go up. Intertwine my elbows and everything locked into that position and make the choke efficient. 